Okay, so the hole's been excavated. We're on to the next step. Footings and for the foundation. So if you look behind me, what you'll end up seeing is we do actually have the forms up for the footings. Now the footings themselves, think of it as almost like a concrete gasket. That's gonna go all the way around and that is what the actual foundation itself is going to be sitting. I'll show you a picture of what it looks like once those forms for the footings have been filled in. One of the things that everybody wants to see when they're actually building their own house is that they have a nice, dry basement. And some of the ways in which that gets handled is through having a French drain system around the perimeter of that foundation. What you can see here is these black pipes underneath the footing is the very start of the French drain system. All right, so now we have the footing. What comes next? the actual foundation to go on top. How do we start with that? Well, by getting a delivery of foundation forms. These metal forms are going to actually be assembled on top of those footings so that we can then pour the actual foundation itself. So the footings are done. Now they're putting the actual metal forms that we saw in the trailer. They're actually now putting them together down on top of those forms. Once they're fully assembled, they'll be able to start actually pouring the concrete for your foundation. Okay, and here we have it. We now actually have all the forms up for your new foundation, so we're ready to start pouring that concrete. Let's get our stone on. Okay, so after the concrete has been poured and allowed some time to cure inside of the forms themselves, it'll continue to cure as we take the forms off and you notice it's a nice solid concrete foundation now. And we have a solid concrete wall now. Congratulations, this is now your new home foundation.